Unlike his former and perhaps the most famous employer, Steve Williams thinks Live Golf is good for the future. Speaking to Kiwi Radio host Dom Harvey, Tiger Woods's former caddy believes the Upstart League provides more options for viewers. Williams had looped for the former world number one during his 72 PGA Tour victories and 13 majors. Before Woods unceremoniously fired him over a phone call. Notably, Williams has caddied for Greg Norman, the CEO of Live Golf, in his early years. But his comment doesn't stem from any sympathy for his Australian employer. Rather, the veteran looper firmly believes that Live Golf was a necessary disruptor in the game. The breakaway side has been mired in controversy since its inception. The 54 hole, no cut format, coupled with shotgun starts and gazillions of dollars thrown at players, irked a lot of traditional golf fans. The Kiwi Caddy contends, it's a different concept. They've been paid extraordinary amounts of money. And there's been a lot of controversy over it. John Ram found himself in the thick of it all after reportedly switching sides for $500 million. Regardless, the veteran caddy said, probably, I think in the long run, it's gonna be great for the game. Williams believes it would provide a different playing field and a different atmosphere for tournaments and gives fans a different option. Greg Norman fronted league bills at his golf, but louder. For the fans, the vibe is significantly different, with a gala atmosphere at every event. Furthermore, with two of the last four major winners on their expanded roster, Live Golf has a stronger field than last year. Williams's comments, though, stand in sharp contrast to what Woods has said over the years. Terming it confusing, the 15-time major winner has disapproved of Live Golf since its genesis. While announcing the launch of TGL, an indoor golf tournament floated by Rory McIlroy, and himself, the 15-time major winner, said, Some of the stuff I've seen in Live I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. In fact, Woods is also opposed to bringing back Live Golfers without some sort of repercussion, as sources told Golf Digest.